we are going to talk about the IVF process. IVF process consists of four basic steps. One being the controlled ovarian stimulation. Second, egg retrieval from the female partner. Third is the fertilization in the lab. And fourth is putting them back, which is called the embryo transfer. So we talk about controlled ovarian hyperstimulation. Controlled ovarian hyperstimulation means that we want to produce more eggs. Usually in the normal menstrual cycle of a female, only one egg is formed per cycle, that is in one month. By means of artificial injections, which is called gonadotropins, we would like more eggs to be produced in either of the ovaries. These injections are administered for around 10 to 12 days in the initial part of the cycle. Before giving the injections, we assess the ovarian reserve of a patient to decide on the dose and the type of injection. The assessment of ovarian reserve is done by means of ultrasound or by means of blood test, a combination of both. Usually done on the start, which is the first or the second day of the period. Based on the reports of the hormonal profile and the ultrasound, we decide on the type and the dose of injection that is to be given. We individualize the dose to an extent so that we do not form too many or too less number of eggs. The injections are started from the second day in the antagonist protocol that we commonly follow. The injections initially are given for say four or five days. We ask the patient to come again after four to five days of injections for an ultrasound. Based on the ultrasound, we after seeing the growth of the eggs that has happened, or we couple them with the hormonal profile of blood test to see how the growth is. We add on a second injection, which is called the antagonist, to prevent the rupture of the eggs. Now, from henceforth, two injections are continued to be administered for the remaining are continued to be administered for the remaining days of the cycle. Once we add on an antagonist, probably the patient is asked to come for the ultrasound on an alternate basis, alternate day basis, or after every two, three days. We monitor the growth of the follicles, and once the desired size of the follicle, which is around 17 to 18 mm, is achieved, we give the final injection, which is called the trigger. The trigger is timed in a manner so as to place out so as to fix the time of the egg retrieval. The trigger is usually given in the evening or the night hours and we schedule the pickup or the egg retrieval after 35 to 36 hours of the spinal injection. These gonadotropin injections are produced from the recombinant forms and they are very pure so they do not have any side effects per se. These injections are administered in the pen form just like an insulin syringe and are self-administrable or probably the partner can administer them. So for this particular injection, probably the inconvenience of going to the hospitals or the IVF center to get them administered is least once the patient learns how to administer them. Same is true for the antagonist injection that can also be administered under the skin which is called a subcutaneous injection and can be done by the patient herself. These injections are usually given for a total of 10 to 12 days. And if the OPD visits can be scheduled in the evening hours, probably this period doesn't require any form of rest or off-form work.